Okay. Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Abel Bilarmino. I'm here to present to you on how to utilize electronic media in facilitating training. Okay. First, I will introduce different uh, materials and equipment. We have the laptop, projector, DVD player, amplifier, and then the speakers, and also a microphone. Okay. First is to settle up the connections. I have here the power adapter for the laptop. Okay. And then I also have the USB mouse. Then the VGA cable for the connection of laptop and projector. RCA connections for the DVD player and then the amplifier and projector which is having a color, co color coded for video and audio output okay yellow for the audio purposes uh, video purposes rather and then I have the red and white for the audio. Okay, I also have 3.5 jump to RCA. The purpose of it is for the audio output of the laptop. Then, plug in the mic. Connections of the speaker to the speaker output of the amplifier. Okay. Then, for the AC source of the DVD player, you have to plug in it in the AC outlet of the amplifier and then the power of the amplifier projector and then, and then the laptop I have to plug it in AC source Check for the connections of laptop, projector, and the amplifier. I'll try to play a music.
I'm Mike. And I'm Shani. From Hold English Explosion. properly. Breaking. Here, it, uh, here ends my presentation about electronics media in how to utilize electronics media in So, good morning. I am Ryan Osho, your trainer for the Pastry Pastry Production in C2. Okay, so before I start, uh, I would like to ask everyone to Side D, then that sheet. Okay, so look for your name and can get pictures you can sure. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so as I call your name, um, can you raise your hands for me to familiarize you personally? Okay, so Miss France, Sparkle, Straight Lata. Okay. So now I have a brief orientation for you. Para sa karagdagan ng yung kalaman. So please listen very carefully. Okay, so. Welcome to Camarines or Institute of Fisheries and Marine Sciences or the CASIPMAS. Okay, so we are under the jurisdiction of TESDA. Okay, so although the years, CASIPMAS expanded into five campuses. So, we have the Pasakao Campus or the main campus, the Ragay Campus, Limanan Campus, Minalaba Campus, and Karanan Campus. Okay, so this is our mission, vision, and value statement. So as a student, you have to know that, and I am lucky because it's the school that I have So dito na ako ng aking skills, knowledge, and attitude. Okay, so here in Tesla, mayro tayong ginagamit na kinatawag na CPT or the Competency Based Training. So we're in the delivery focus of the trainees as the result of this training. Okay, so we have the rules of trainer and rules of trainees. Okay, so what would be my role as a trainer? Okay, so of course, I'm your facilitator, your motivator for you to learn, and of course, I'm your the evaluator for your performance. Okay, so what would be your counterpart uh, as a trainees? Okay, so aside from what you see in the PowerPoint, so, in order for you to progress in this training program. Okay, so, we have 10 principles of CBT. So, what are those? Okay, so, learning is competency-based or modular and structured. Okay, so, learning materials or modular learning is designed. Uh, to implement, to use the modular and current um, training regulations. Okay, so training is based on work that must be performed. Okay, so learning is based on the industry practice. Okay, so number six, so assessment of learners is based on the collections of evidence of work performance based on the industry or organization's required standard. Okay, so um, based from this, okay, so we have the um, competency standard to competency-based curriculum to uh, 
um, pattern standard. Okay, so dito po, um, the learners is based on the collections of evidence. Okay, so we have the training flow. Okay, so how do you uh, follow the CBT flow? Okay, so first, you have to gather some information for you to identify your training needs. Okay, so once I analyze your information, I will prepare the um, training activities. Okay, so uh, once you undergo the training activities, so you have to read the instructional materials like CBLM modules. We have the PowerPoint presentation, the VT present presentations, and tools and materials which is related to your qualifications. Okay, so once you undergo and accomplish task, this is being required by the current course. So you have to undergo the institutional assessment. Okay, so once the national uh, institutional assessment assists you and read you as a competent, so I advise you to have a national assessment. Okay, so and then once the national assessment assessors rate you as a competent, so therefore you can apply the national certificate or if not, so you have to undergo first the reassessment. Okay, so welcome to our course which is bread and pastry production in situ. Okay, so this qualification is composed of basic, common, and core competency. Okay, so for the basic, it is focused more on communication skills. For the common, it is tackles all about the hygiene procedures, um, effective uh, customer service, and um, compu um, hygiene, observe workplace hygiene procedures. Okay, so then I will focus in this competency okay so which is core competency always remember that we have five core competency okay so we have the prepare and produce bakery products prepare and produce pastry product prepare and present gatox turds and cakes uh, prepare and display petifors and present dessert okay so next is the cblf okay so we have different content First, you have to read from first page up to the information sheet. Okay, so the information is all about the uh, competency what you are taking. Okay, so and then um, when you, when you uh, if you understand the task, so you can uh, answer the subject, then compare your answer to answer key. Okay, so, and then you can perform the operational task for job sheet. Okay, so, I will be observing you based from your performance criteria checklist. And then, if you have a further reading, so, you can state at the last part of the CBLM. Okay, so, next is the shop layout. Okay, so, we have nine, lear nine learning areas. We have the, um, Trainers resource area, learning resource area, quality control area, the institutional assessment area, contextual learning area, computer laboratory area, the distance learning area, and then the support service area. Okay, so please stand up. I will show you the different locations of the area. Okay, so this is the uh, practical work area. Okay, so dito nyo gagawin lahat ng activities based from your activity matrix. Okay. And then, this is the learning areas. Okay. So, dito niyan mo nakikita ang um, CBLM. Okay. At dito kayo magbabasa. Okay. So, then, ito naman ang contextual learning area. Okay. So, dito natin malalaman kung meron kayo natutunan sa basic and common competency. Okay. And then, we have the trainer's resource area. Okay, so dito niya naman makikita ang aking ginito ang Biblia. Ang tawagin ay TR. 
So, if you want to approach me, dito na lang ako pupuntahan. Okay. So, and then, this the institutional assessment area. Okay. So, dito kayo mag-undergo ng um, oral and review. Okay. So, next, the quality control area. So, dito nyo dadalhin lahat ng uh, finished product nyo to um, rate if it is on the standard. Okay. And then, next is the computer, labo uh, the computer laboratory area. Kasama niya ang support service area. Okay, so if you want to add uh, some information, so meron tayong internet, so pwede niyong gamitin. Okay, so if you want to uh, online, so meron tayo. And then the distance learning area. This is the able to learning provision outside. Okay, so did you understand the nine learning areas? Okay, so back to your seat. Okay, so next is the achievement chart. Okay, so this is the monitoring tools in order for you to progress in every task. Okay, so next is the progress chart. Okay, so after the completions of the task, uh, for uh, learning outcome or so, I will put C in your progress chart. So, it means you are complete. Okay, so next is the activity matrix. Okay, so this training activity matrix uh, help us, guide us uh, with the use of tools and uh, facilities because we cannot undergo some competencies in the same time. And then, next is the assessment methods. Okay, so we can use the demonstration and oral interview. Okay, so we, uh, we can measure your the understanding knowledge and skills. Okay, so now we are done our presentations. I hope na mayroon kayong natutunan. Okay, so do you have any questions? Clarifications? Okay, so kung wala na kayong katanungan, I will give you the Lamis form. Okay, on this form, this side, with a print test. Okay, so this will help me to determine the methodologies that I am going to use. Okay, so I will give you 40 minutes to finish this test. Okay, so please don't make any sorry noise. Okay, so time's up. You have your test questionnaire and your answer sheet. Thank you. Okay, so. I will check this after class. Okay, so if you have a prior learning in this competency, um, please bring your certificate to validate your learning. Okay, so do you have any questions? Okay, so wala na pong katanungan. Um, that's all for today. So you can go now. Okay, so good morning. We stand up for the opening prayer. Okay, so the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Okay, so please sit down. Okay, so please sign the attendance sheet. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so before I start, um, I would like to ask what chord did you want to perform? Okay, so. Miss Franz, what, what chord did you want to perform? Okay, so I will put your name in the core, uh, core 4 in our activity matrix. Okay, so first you have to read the module in the learning resource area, then after you read the information sheet, try to Answer the self check, then compare your answer to answer key. Okay, so proceed it now. Okay, so by the way, before I forgot uh, Miss Fra uh, Miss Barco, so you have a prior learning in this competency, so which is uh, prepare and produce baking products. Okay, so I expected you that you bring your certificate. Okay, so may I have your certificate? Okay, so to validate this. I have a short interview for you. Go to the institutional assessment area. Okay, 
so okay so how do you portion the dog okay so what mixing methods were demonstrated in your baked product for the um, bakery products okay and then how do you portion the dog okay so because of that um, I will put our PL in your uh, achievement and progress chart. Um, four, one. Okay, so what core did you want to perform? Okay, so you want core three. Okay, so I just put your name in the core three in our PBT matrix. Okay, so first, you have to read the module in the learning resource area, then after you're reading the information sheet, try to answer the subject and compare answer to answer key. Okay, so, Mr. Jonathan, what core did you want to perform? Okay, so you want core two. Okay, so I just put your name in the activity matrix in port 2. Okay, so you have to read the module in the learning resource area then after you reading the information sheet, try to answer the subject then compare your answer to answer key. Okay, so Ms. Franz, are you done? Did you understand? Okay, so very good. So now you can proceed to the practical work area. Okay, so you can prepare the Parmesan PT course. Okay, so we have the tools, ingredients, and the equipment that you are needed. Okay, so please follow the procedures and please observe safety as you perform in different tasks. Okay, so you can do it now. Okay, so Miss Franz, are you done? Did you understand? Okay, so very good. So now you can proceed to the practical work area. Okay, so you have to prepare the banana cake. Okay, so we have the tools, ingredients, and equipment that were needed. Okay, so please follow the procedures and please observe safety as you perform the different tasks. Okay, so proceed it now. Okay, so Mr. Jonathan. Did you understand? No? Okay, so go to the uh, computer laboratory. Uh, I have a video presentation for you to understand more. Okay, so please listen very carefully and if you have a difficulty to understand it, so do not hesitate to ask me because I'm willing to explain it to you. Okay, so please watch this. Okay, so Miss Franz, how are you? Did you follow the step by step in making the permission pretty course? Okay, so very good. Okay. Gumamit ka na, measuring cups to measure the dry ingredients. Okay, so measuring glass to measure the liquid ingredients in the sifter to sift all the dry ingredients. Okay, so make sure na malinis natin ang inyong working area. Okay, so please continue your work. Okay, so Ms. Fran, Franco, how are you? Are you doing well? Okay, so Gumamit ka na, weighing scale, okay, and then the measuring glass to measure the ingredients with the measuring cup, okay. 
Okay, so okay. Okay, so please continue work. Apply the craft. Okay. Kawang by T, I put this in the freezer, and when I'm ready, I just take it out. Okay, so Mr. Jonathan, and then coffee, are you done? Milk, okay, so did you understand? Okay, so no? Okay, so I have a um, PowerPoint presentation with Muli uh, Sayo para to understand more. Okay, so okay, so this is the ingredients, uh, pie crust. Okay, so we have the fillings. Okay, next. Okay, so we have the tools and the equipment that were needed. Okay, so this is the procedures to be followed. Next. Okay, so next is for the presenting of your finished product. Okay, so. If you want, uh, I just want to uh, watch you the, on how to uh, make a pie or the um, egg pie. Okay, so go to the um, practical work area. Okay, so I will show you the actual um, actual demonstrations. Okay, so first. Um, you need to prepare all the tools, ingredients, and equipment. Okay, so once you prepare the all your needed, um, measure the ingredients based from your recipe. Okay, so first you have to uh, get mixing mold, then pour all the liquid ingredients, then mix well using the and why waste after that so before the dry all the dry ingredients mix well using with the wooden spoon okay so para maiwasan natin yung um pagputol ng why waste kasi hindi kakayanin ng why waste okay? okay and then after that knead it until you meet the elastic texture okay then after that place it into your uh, into the flat surface then flat the pie crust using the um, rolling pin okay then after that ilagay mo na siya sa pie pan then the fillings for it the fillings then bake okay so you got it okay so you can do it to yourself okay so miss france um, how are you did you finish okay so may i check your um, may i check your finished product Okay. okay, so for the appearance, okay, so like uh, like the color, okay, so good for the taste. Okay, it's uh, yummy. Okay, for the texture, okay, so it's foamy. Okay, so very good. Because of that, I will check your achievement chart. Before I put you in your practice chart, you have to undergo the uh, institutional assessment. Okay, so go to the institutional assessment. Okay, so what's different between the uh, flavor extract and flavor emulsion? Okay, so very good. So flavor extract is alcohol based, when the flavor emulsion is oil based. Okay, so how do you uh, plate the pity first? Okay, so very good. Uh, with frosting on top. Okay, so based from your oral interview, you got all the correct answer. So I will put C in your progress chart. Okay, Miss Brands. Okay, so C. Okay, 
So now, um, please receive your certificate of achievement in four four, which is um, present uh, present um, PT fours. Okay, so congratulations. Okay, so what four did you want to perform next? Okay, so you want four five. Okay. Okay, so I will put your name in the four five in our PPT matrix. Okay, so first you have to read the module in the learning resource area, then after you reading the information sheet, try to answer the subject, then compare your answer to answer key. Okay, so Miss Parko, so may I have your uh, may I check your product okay so for the appearance of your cake okay so very good it's like the golden brown in the texture okay so it's sponge okay so for the taste okay so yummy okay so because of that I will check your chicken chart Okay, so before I put in your practice chart, you have to undergo the institutional assessment. Okay, so go to the institutional assessment. Okay, so okay, so how do you cream the butter? Okay, so very good. Um, will the colors become lighter and fluffy? Okay, so how do you check the tannins of your baked product? Okay, so very good. Uh, first, you have to uh, insert the cake tester at the center and when you pull out the cake tester, so when you see it clear, so it means it's already baked. Okay, so very good. Because of that, I will put C in your progress chart. Okay, so now please receive your certificate of achievement, which is uh, prepare and present Gantok's thirds and cakes. Okay, so congratulations. What core did you want to perform next? Okay, so you want core one. Okay, so I will put your name in core one in our activity matrix. Okay, so first you have to read the module in the learning resource area, then after you read the information sheet, try to answer the subject and compare your answer to answer key. Okay, so it's all it's already five o'clock. So please go back to your seat. Okay, so you are uh, you are good, you are excellent. Okay, so that's all for today. You may go now. Okay, so good morning. Okay, so please sign the attendance sheet. Okay. For the last performer, Mr. Jonathan. So please receive your certificate of achievement and for one, which is prepare and produce bakery products. Okay, so congratulations. So now that you have complete all the core competencies and received the certificate of achievement. Um, I'm, go I'm going to administer the post test. Okay, so this will help me to analyze if you have so much learned during our training. Okay, so thank you. And now I want you to fill up this evaluation form. Okay, so this will help me to analyze what are the changes that I am going to improve in this training program. Okay, so for free and suggestion. Okay. So now that you have completed all the core competencies and received the uh, certificate of achievement, okay, so I advise you to have the national assessment. So you can apply the assessment center here in Kasikmas. Please bring your um, picture and payment for the assessment. Okay, so you can do it, guys. I know you. Uh, I know you have the knowledge, skills, and attitude. Okay, so congratulations. That's all for today. Thank you.
Good morning, my dearest trainees. Welcome to Kasip Mas. So, thank you for choosing Kasip Mas. Hindi kayo magsisisi because you have chosen the right institution for your training. By the way, I'm Mom Rose. Mom Rosaline Mohan, your registered trainer in EPAS and C2. So, yung napili nyo o pinili nyong qualification or course ay Electronic Product Assembly and Servicing NC2. So, later on, I will ask you your expectation and purpose regarding why have you chosen EPAS and C2. Is that clear? Okay, before we continue, let me ask you to sign the attendance sheet. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Miss Sharon Coleta. Okay. You're blooming. Very beautiful. Miss Ricardo Cardo. Okay. Very happy. Okay. So, since this is your first day, so, uh, since this is your first day, we will be having an orientation, class orientation. So, let us start the orientation. Do you have any question, concern? Okay. So, welcome to Kasip Mas. I repeat. Yeah. So, welcome again to your chosen institution. Kasip Mas means Kamarinisur Institute of Fisheries and Marine Sciences. And then Kasip Mas consists of campuses. What are the different campuses of Kasip Mas? Ah, sige. Ah, later on. So, we have the vision and then the mission and then the values of Kasip Mas. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, the Kasip Mas is uh, a school which develops your knowledge, skills, and attitude in order to be a skilled workers. Okay? The training here in Kasip Mas are all based in the requirements sa industry. So, your KSA are being developed. Next. Then, we have the, the extension campuses. Dito, kung saan nandito kayo sa main campus, located in Santa Rosa, Pasakaw. And then, we have other extension campuses. Minalabak, Ligmanan, and then Ragay Campus. So, most of their programs offer, program offerings are being offered also in main campus. Okay, next. Okay, by the way, the training here in EPAS NC2 is in competency-based training method. I will use and your other teachers, your other trainers will use CBT method. What is CBT? Sir, can you read? Cardo, Cardo? Can you read? Competency-based training is a training delivery approach that focuses on the competency development of as a result of the training. Okay. So, it means that in EPAS NC2, your KSA will be developed in accordance to competency-based training delivery. Ibig sabihin, yung qualification na napili nyo consists of competencies in order to develop, of course, your electronics skill. And CPT objective is more on mastery skill. So, to, to elaborate more, to understand more what is CPT, we have the 10 principles of CBT. Sir? Okay, so we have the training is based on curriculum developed from the competency standards. The EPAS NC2 competencies are in accordance to the training regulation. 
meron tayong wifi dito, you can browse the training regulation of EPA NC2 at www.tesla.gov.ph so that you are aware of the different competency standards of EPAS NC2 para mas lalo nyong maintindihan yung nilalaman ng EPAS NC2. Okay, do you have any question? Okay, none so far. Next is number three, training delivery as individualized and self-paced. Yes. The training here in CBT is conducted in a self-paced mode. Ibig sabihin, you will progress on your own rate. Do not wait for your classmates to finish. Probably, you can finish first. And your instructor, your trainer will award you certificate of achievement and then you will go to the next competency. Basta, you will progress on your own rate. Next. Next number. Huh? Five. Five. Training materials are directly related to the competency standards and then the curriculum. All the training materials are related to the training regulation that you can download in our official website. So, lahat yan, hindi ko lang yan ginawa na, na base sa opinion ko. Lahat po yan, binasehan sa training regulation. Okay? So, again, I'm Ma'am Rose. And of course, your trainer and you are my trainees. In CBT, I have my roles and responsibilities as your trainer. So, I am your team member, facilitator, helper. So, madami akong roles and responsibilities in order that your KSA will be developed. And of course, it is, uh, the CBT is more on students oriented. Kayo dito yung bida. Okay? Free kayo dito na gumalaw sa ating training area. And, as my, as my trainees, of course, you have your roles and responsibilities. You evaluate your own performance because this is individualized learning. Then, you, meet, you move freely in the workshop. I mentioned that already. And you decide kung kailang kayo ready mag-demo. Hindi ko kayo pipilitin. Hindi ko rin kayo pipilitin na gumawa ng activity if you are not ready. Okay? So, is that clear? Okay. Then, we have the training flow. Para oriented kayo ng pasunod-sunod until you gain your training certificate. The first day, ito yung first day, you registered ganina sa, sa program ng EPAS NC2. And then, presently, I'm conducting the orientation. Ito yung first day, mamaya, magbibigay ako ng pretest and SAT. And then, you will sign the learning contract. So, that is more on the first day, which is orientation. Then, sa mga next succeeding days, we will be having the learning activities, lahat ng demonstrations, and other methods ay gagawin natin dito. The actual training. And after you finish all the tasks, you will take institutional competency assessment. And once you are competent, you will receive your certificate of achievement. And once you earn already all the COA, mamaya isasabi ko kung ilang COA, ay ready na kayo for post-test, for, for pre-assessment in order to take the national assessment. And one requirement for you to get the training certificate is Dapat naka-take kayo na national assessment before I will release your certificate of training. Okay, is that clear? Okay, very good. Next slide, please. Okay. The EPAS 
L C two consists of basic, ano nung sir? Basic, common, and then core competencies. We have the four basic competencies, and we have also the seven common competencies, and we have the four competencies. I will be the one who will train you sa tatlong core competencies, which are assembled electronic products. Service Consumer Electronic Product and System, Service Industrial Electronics Modules Products and System. It means na I will award you three Certificate of Achievement para makatapos kayo sa EPAS and C2. Is that clear? Okay. Then, in EPAS and C2, we have the modules. You will use here, you will read the CBLM. Ang CBLM, it means or it stands for competency learning, competency-based learning materials or modules. Yan po ang mga preliminary pages ng CBLM. How to use the CBLM? Paano nyo gagamitin? Nandun. Then the different list of competencies from basic or the major competencies, the three core competencies. The competency summary, magikita nyo dyan na it consists of basic, common, and then core. Then, the different learning outcomes na dapat ma-met nyo. Then also, the different learning experiences or activities that you will undertake in reading the CBLM. Then also, here are the parts of CBLM. Instruction sheet. Instruction sheet can be found information sheet. So, yung topic natin ngayon ay mababasa nyo under information sheet. After you read information sheet, you will answer self-check. And after you answer the self-check, you will check your own work by comparing your answer with the use of the answer key. Then, if you are ready now to perform the activities, pwede kayo pumunta sa task, job, or operation sheet. When we say simple activity that is under task sheet, if there is already an aid of an equipment series of activities, that is job sheet. And then, how to use an equipment or how to use the, the given equipment that is operation sheet. And after you perform all the activities, you will evaluate your own performance using performance criteria checklist. Is that clear? Again. Okay. Do you have any question? None so far. Okay. So, in order that you are familiar <coughs> ng ating CBT EPAS workshop, please stand. Okay? So, I will tour you to our workshop. Okay. So, dito. So, this is the distance learning area. Kung wala ako, magigiwan ako ng assignment nyo or uh, an email will be sent to you sa mga activities na gagawin nyo. Then, of course, we have the computer laboratory in order that you can perform whatever activities in the distance learning area. Next, nandito ang ating uh, practical workstation. So, madaming practical workstations. So, dito kayo magpe-perform ng mga tasks or job activities. Okay, next. Nandito ang contextual resource area. Nandito yung encyclopedia. So, you can, be, you can read our references sa mga kaalaman nyo sa agham at saka sa matematika. And we have also the trainer's resource area. This is my area in which you can see my TM certificate, the NC certificate, and then the NTT certificate that proves that I am eligible to teach EPAS and Z2. 
Of course, the training regulation, kung walang internet, you can browse in the trainer resource area. And tinatago ko rin dito yung uh, competency-based curriculum ng EFAS NC2. Then we have also the learning resource area. Makikita niyo yung mga modules na CBLM na pinaliwanag ko kanina yung mga parts. So CBLM ay makikita niyo dito sa learning resource area. Okay, please come over. Then we have also the quality control area. Once you have finished the given output, ilagay lang dito and we will check to control the quality of the given output. Then I have here uh, my toolkeeper and technician for support service area. Okay, so please go back to your seats. Okay. So, okay nga. Familiar na kayo ng mga different areas ng workshop. How about the evaluation system that I will give? So, self-evaluation because you will refer to the answer key and performance criteria checklist. Another institutional assessment. After you finish all the tasks, you will undergo institutional assessment and performance test. Okay. Okay? Sam? Wala. Okay. So, that ends the orientation. Do you have any clarification regarding your chosen qualification? So, I will give you 30 minutes to fill up the SAG self-assessment guide and to take the pretest. Okay, time is up. So I will check your SAG and pretest, and then tomorrow you will be able to know the score na nakuha niya sa pretest. And once na uh, I notice in your application, Mr. Cardo Cardo, that you have been an electronic technician for 10 years. So, please bring your certificate of employment tomorrow. Okay? So, if there is no other clarification, goodbye class. Let's call it a day. Good morning, my dearest trainees. Please sign in the attendance sheet before we start. Okay, thank you. Miss Sharon Conetta. Ms. Ricardo Cardo. Okay, very good. 100% attendance. Based, based on your pretest yesterday, uh, you, Miss Sharon Conetta, I noticed that you are a beginner of the EPAS and Z2. So you have no experience and uh, you have no knowledge uh, at all in EPAS and C2. Bakit nga pinili mo yung EPAS and C2? Ano nakalagay dito? Because, uh, yun ang sabi ni Kuya. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, I am here to, uh, to to enhance your skill in electronics. And Mr. Cardo Cardo, regarding the pretest, you've got high, you're the highest. So, uh, sabi ko kahapon, I noticed that you have been an employee in one electronic shop. Do you have with you your certificate of employment? Okay. So, I will validate, validate your certificate of employment later on. And, Miss Sharon Conetta, since you are the beginner, I will put you or assign you in COC1 which is Assemble Electronics Products. So, Miss Sharon Conetta, go to the learning resource area and find the module for EPA, uh, for COC1 Assemble. Okay? So, Miss Ricardo Cardo, I, I called your employer and palaging busy ang kanilang phone. So that I can, at nakikita ko naman, authentic naman yung certificate of employment mo, valid, recent. Um, 
I di justify ko na lang yung skill mo through institutional assessment. Please go to the institutional assessment area. Sa'yo ng institutional assessment area. Okay? So, since you are a technician for already 10 years, please repair the television. You will diagnose first the television. And then after diagnostic, you will repair the television within 30 minutes. Here are the needed materials. You need to follow the proper OHS standards. Okay, here is the performance criteria checklist. By time to time, I will visit you to check your performance. So, do you have any question? None so far? So, time starts now. Okay, ma'am. Have you answered already the the, the self-check? Okay, you got 5 out of 20. So, may hindi ka naiintindihan mong sa binasa mo. So that you will understand it well, please go to the e-media to view some PowerPoint presentation regarding on soldering techniques. Meron na ba tayo dito ng ng ano? Nasaan ang ating <laughs> nagkakaan ng projekto? Sorry, sir. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So, here is the PowerPoint uh, video presentation regarding on how to solder properly. So you need to solder the the mounted components properly. First is you need to use good quality of soldering iron, clean tip of soldering iron. So please, uh, please watch the video, and I will go back to you afterwards. Okay, sir, how are you? Okay. Can, okay, can I check your performance in your performance criteria checklist? Okay, as I have said, what are the critical criteria that you must meet? So, nakalagay dito, na-identify mo yung trouble, tama. Na-identify mo yung defective stage, tama. Na-identify mo yung defective component, okay, very good. And you repair competently the television. Congratulations, sir. Because you will no longer repeat COC1. I will... Transmit high current. I will... Assign you in... Core number three. Cardo, Cardo. Core number three is service industrial modules management system. Please go to the learning resource area to read the module for COC3. Okay, ma'am. Can I verify the underpinning knowledge based from your uh, watch video? Ma'am, uh, how are you going to... What is the proper proper holding of soldering iron? Okay, slanting. Very good. So, may natutunan ka talaga, ma'am. So, sabi mo, dapat lihain mo na yung area ng susoldahan para maganda yung output. So, since na marunong ka na, okay, you are now ready to perform Pass sheet 1.1.1 Solder Electronic Components in PCB Circuit So, please go to Practical Workstation 1 Here are the needed materials Follow OHS May mask dito, you can use the mask The soldering iron You will perform that within 30 minutes So, please follow OHS so here is your performance criteria checklist. I will go back to check your performance. <coughs> okay, done. So I will check. Show me your 
Okay, done. Wala akong pencil pen. I will check you in task 1. Check. So since you are through already, you obtain all the critical aspect of task 1, please proceed to activity number 2. Activity number 2, <coughs> you will desolder. Kanina nagsulda ka, ngayon tatanggalin mo using desoldering pump. So follow OHS, and dito yung performance criteria checklist, and then nandito yung mga needed materials. Do you have any question, ma'am? None so far. Ah, okay. Sir. <coughs> okay, very good. You got 28 out of 30. You are now ready to perform the task sheet number three. That one, that one, which are interconnection of CCTV. Sir, please come over. <coughs> Here are the CCTV. Uh, here is the diagram. Here is the performance criteria checklist. You will interconnect that within 30 minutes. Follow the safety nest rules and then the OHS standards. So do you have any questions, sir? So you will do it within 30 minutes. Okay, so I will check, ma'am, your work. Okay, so you use properly the soldering pump. Uh, you desolder the components properly. Very good. Okay, excellent. Competent in task 2. So I will, I will check task 2. Okay? Since Ms. Sharon Coneta, you completed all the tasks in COZ1, you are now ready to perform institutional assessment uh, tests. So please go to institutional assessment. Okay, you will perform the set performance test. You will assemble mini UPS within four hours. Nandito yung mga pieso, you will mount it properly. Nandito yung performance criteria checklist para guided ka sa mga criteria. Ano yung mga criteria sa nandyan? Dapat nasulda mo ng maigi. Tama yung pakamount ng mga pieso and then nag-function yung mini UPS. And afterwards, you will bring your mini UPS to quality control area for checking. Okay? So, time starts now. Okay. Okay, very good. There are four output videos. So, critical aspect, you draw the black diagram for us, uh, four video out of CCTV. So, I will check you. I will check you, Mr. Cardo, in task 3.1.1. So, you are through already. So, please proceed to another task. Task 2, you will assemble sequential. So, within one and a half hour, again, here is performance criteria checklist. Follow the criteria in order that you are competent. Okay, I will go back to you later. Okay, ma'am, please bring your output to the quality control area. <coughs> okay. So, you have an output, 3 volts, 12 volts, 6 volts. Then, you mount it properly, good soldering. So, very good. So, I will check your progress chart. Nakakapagod. <laughs> okay. Miss Sharon Suneta, you are through already to the different LO of COZ1 and you are competent in institutional assessment. So that means you are competent already and I will award you with certificate of achievement. Congratulations, ma'am. Okay, so now, ano ang gusto mong sunod na competency? Si OC2 or si OC3? Okay, so I will transfer your name in COC3. Okay. How about you, sir? Okay, very good. Please bring to the quality control area. Okay, so the sequential is <laughs> functioning. 
Okay. So you're now ready for institutional. Okay. Is you ready for a book club? Okay. So we will just continue this tomorrow because it is 29 minutes already. Okay. So, good morning. How's your day? <laughs> So please sign in that tendency. Okay. So let us assume that you finish all the competencies. Congratulations because you have already with you your three certificate of achievement and then your certificate of achievement. Na dalawa kasi nakikita mo dito Mr. Cardo Cardo, you have RPN sa COC1, ah, COC2. Kaya hindi ka na nag-ulit pa ng COC2 because of your RPN. Pero kung gusto mo mag, since na masipag ang iyong trainer mag-print, bibigyan ulit kita ng another COA per COC2 sa tatlong COA na. Okay? So, I'll give you post-test to validate kung may nalaman nga kayo. If you have the gained underpinning knowledge and skill in EPAS and C2 out from the 33 days training. Okay? I will compare that in the pre-test. Okay? Yun ang purpose ng pre-test. Hindi ko nasabi. Ang purpose ng pre-test ay to validate yung mga RPL nyo. Saka ibabalidate yung post-test. Iko-compare sa pre-test. Okay! Out of 50, you got 45. Very good. And also you. Very good. So you are now ready to take the national assessment. So before you go, please answer the evaluation to improve more my training delivery in CBT and to improve the facilities, the tools and equipment of Kasimas. Okay, thank you. So good luck for your assessment next week. Thank you. Good morning, Ma. I am Ma'am Rose Mohal, your assessor in EPAS NC2. May I check if the needed tools, materials, and equipment are ready to use, if they are functionable? Okay, so OHS followed. All the needed tools, materials are available. Okay, Ma'am, may I have the test package? Okay, I received the attendance sheet, 10 rating sheets, 10 cars, plus the assessor's guide. Thank you, ma'am. May I start the assessment? Okay, thank you. Good morning, candidates. Good morning, ma'am. I'm ma'am Rosaline, Mrs. Rosaline Mohal, your accredited assessor in electronic product assembly and servicing NC2. So, in the, on the board, I wrote my name, the correct spelling of my name, and then, welcome to Kasipmas. Kasipmas is the accredited assessment center that will help in processing your documents until you apply for national certificate too, or whatever certificate that is. Okay? So, before we start the assessment, may I collect you... May I collect the admission slip? Okay. So, please sign in the attendance sheet. Miss Clarice Ebron. Yes. You. I have here with me ma your accomplished application form and then self-assessment guide. So I notice that Miss Ebron, uh, there is the discrepancy uh, between your signature in the attendance sheet and then admission slip. Do you have with you any identification card so that I can verify the signature? Your signature. Okay. Okay. So talagang ika ini mam. So magayon ang picture. Okay. Then. So.
So I have here your self-assessment guide. I notice that you check all yes. It means that you are prepared enough to take the competencies of EPAS and C2. So before we go to the actual assessment, we will be having first the orientation. But before that, may I introduce to you our visitors? We have Mariano Rojas, our test director, and the CAC manager, Ms. Dr. Delia De Los Santos. So, andito sila just to oversee the conduct and methodologies of the assessment. Whether your assessor follow the standard of the assessment. So, do not be afraid kasi hindi naman sila ang mag-re-rate sa inyo. Okay, do you have any further clarification, question? Okay, none. So, we go now to orientation proper. So, as I have said, today, I will give the assessment with electronic product assembly and servicing NC2. The purpose of this is to assess the level of your competency in the three core competencies of EPAS and NC2. What are these three core competencies? We have assembled electronic product and system, service consumer electronic product and system, service industrial modules product and system. So, since it is cluster type, Pero dapat maging competent kayo sa tatlong competencies so that you can be able to apply for national certificate. And since it is cluster type qualifications, if you are not yet competent in one competency, still you can apply for certificate. And that certificate is what we call certificate of competency dun sa napasahan yung competency. So, saan yan magagamit ng mga certificates that I mentioned? You can use that as your eligibility once you apply for a job. Since the purpose of this assessment is for occupational purpose, for licensing. So, you have already the license as being electronics technician. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, uh, what are the do's and don'ts of the assessment? Of course, Cell phone is not allowed. And I will give you time to take your snack. So, uh, we have also the, the ZR at the right side, the laboratory. So, you are free to, to use. And once na you will buy something, just ask for permission. Okay? And avoid loitering in the assessment area. Okay, then of course you will use the required PPE. Always practice safetyness. Sino dito ang bunte? Sino dito ang PWD and senior citizen? I will give you some reasonable adjustment. So, still, even though I give you some reasonable adjustment, I will follow the standard of the assessment. Kung baga priority kayo, since magugutumin ang mga buntes. And, of course, I'll give you also a lovable adjustment. I'm very kind. In case na hindi nyo naintindihan ang specific instruction, plus the instruction, plus the interview question that I, I, I will give to you later on, I can translate that in your preferred dialect. Okay? So, yan. This is national assessment. So, ibig sabihin, recognize ang national certificate niyo all over the Asian countries and I will follow the standard because this is national assessment if you uh, if you will apply to another assessment center same po same yung methodologies since it is national assessment what are the methods that I will give? Of course, I will give the oral questioning and then the demonstration. In COC1, you will assemble mini UPS within 4 hours. So, nandiyan yung mga gamit ng mini UPS. This is the working table for the mini UPS. Nandito lahat mga consumable materials for making power supply. That is good for 4 hours. Always practice OHS. And what are the criteria that I will assess? Of course, functionality, the time. Dapat 
after 4 hours tapos na nagfunction na yung mini UPS aside from the nagilaw aside from the LED indicator dapat may ma-measure kayo na tatlong voltage 5 volts, 9 volts and then 12 volts okay is that clear yes okay next is service consumer electronic products na dito yung washing machine you will interconnect the motor windings within 30, mi 30 minutes. Do not plug. We will just rely on the movement of the tester. So, anong criteria para masabi nyo na competent kayo? Na satisfactory yung ginawa nyo. So, every na mag-tick ang washing machine, there is the reaction in the pointer. And here is the TV. You will just diagnose yung sira ng TV. Linagyan na ni Mamuhal ng sira ang TV. You will just write it under trouble symptoms sa papel na ibibigay ko mamaya. So, this is 30 minutes and another 30 minutes in television. So, nandito yung mga tools and equipment. Always follow OHS. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. And lastly, we have service industrial modules product and system. You will assemble sequential in the breadboard within one and a half hour. So, paano nyo masabi na satisfactory yung ginawa nyo? Dapat nag-sequence yung anim na ilaw. Once na nag-sequence within 1.5, since functionality is speed ang uh, majority, nandun ang percentage sa satisfactory so dapat yun ang gawin nyo. Okay, then CCTV, good for 30 minutes. You will interconnect. Pag nakita yung ng assessor na may video, of course, you are satisfactory. There are four CCTV cameras, so there must be four video output. Okay. To sum up, I will distribute the specific instructions. Please read it within 10 minutes. Kung hindi pa naintindihan, I will translate that in your preferred dialect. Okay. So, any question? Okay, none so far. Okay, are you ready to take the demonstration? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. Miss Ebron, please proceed to COC1. Follow the OHS. Here is the specific instruction. This will be your guide. And do it uh, within the time allotment. So time starts now and always wear PPE. Okay, Miss De La Cruz. So here is the washing machine and then television. And here is the, the specific instructions. So this will be your guide. Always follow OHS. 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Good luck. Okay, Dad. Please proceed, ma'am, to the sequential. COC3, assemble. Here is the specific instruction. Assemble it properly. Do it within one and a half hour. Okay, Dad. Proceed to CCTV. Here is the specific instruction. Do it within 0.5 hours for the PPE. Hi, okay, ma'am. Dad, please proceed to the COC1. May akong golpe na. May check sa kami. Okay, done. Okay. Please proceed to the holding area. Ma'am, please proceed to the holding area. Thank you. So, let's go now to oral questioning. Ma'am Ebron. How are you, ma'am? Okay. So, you still nervous? Nervous? Okay, so I will give you some questions regarding the three core competencies. So here is the first question. What are the functions of bridge type diode in the power supply? What will happen if the bridge type is already damaged? Okay, next question. If the power regulator in the television is born, what will be the effect in your television? Okay. So next, what is the purpose of DBR in CCTV? Paano ka mag-record? Okay. So thank you, ma'am. I will just call you again. Just wait in the holding area.
Next, Mom Nelly de la Cruz. How are you, Mom? Yes, very good. Okay, so hindi ko napagtatagalin. I'll give you the oral questioning. So, first question, Mom. What are the functions of bridge type diode in the assembled power supply? What will happen if the bridge type diode is damaged? Mm -hmm. Okay. If the power regulator in television is damaged, what will be the effect? Okay. So, what is the purpose of DVR and CCTV? How are you going to record the video? Okay. So, ma'am, thank you. I will just call you for feedbacking. So, please wait in the holding area. Miss Ebron. Okay, Miss Ebron. You are Miss Ebron. Yes, okay. Kumusta ulit? Parang ninenervyos ka ulit. Okay, based from the oral questioning, you've got three out of three. Okay? So it means that you are satisfactory in oral questioning in assembled electronics products. In service consumer electronic products, in oral questioning, you've got three out of three also. So it means you are satisfactory. In service industrial electronic product and system, you've got three out of three in oral questioning also. Okay? So how about in the demonstration? In the demonstration, in mini UPS, uh, you measure the required voltage. So it means that you are satisfactory. In consumer electronic products, you diagnose, you repair correctly the TV and you connected the washing machine properly. So it means you are satisfactory in the demonstration in COC2. In COC3, you connected the CCTV properly and the sequential light disco has sequenced. So it means that you are satisfactory. To sum up, in oral questioning and then in demonstration in the three core competencies, you are all satisfactory. So that means congratulations because you are competent. Okay. So you can apply for the national certificate in Robinson. Just bring passport size picture and then 50 pesos processing fee. The CAC manager will just give to you later on the cards. But before you see it in the holding area, please sign. I sign. Please sign in the rating sheet. And please sign in the cards. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations. Okay, next candidate, Ms. De La Cruz. Okay, ma'am, de la Cruz. Okay. So, you are so relaxed. And you are also beautiful. So, you have a nice dress. Okay. So, ma'am, de la Cruz, uh, I summarize your, the results of your assessment. In oral questioning, in the three core competencies, you are all satisfactory because you've got two out of three. So that means you are satisfactory in oral questioning in the three core competencies. In a simple electronic product demonstration, you demonstrated satisfactory also because the mini UPS function with the required voltage. So satisfactory. In service industrial modules, you connected the CCTV satisfactory. There are four output videos and then the sequential light disco. Okay, satisfactory. Nevertheless, in COC2, service consumer electronic products, you have not repaired the television properly. So, hindi nag-work yung television. So, anong ibig sabihin niya? You are not satisfactory in the demonstration in the television. So, in spite 
na nakuha mong i-connect yung washing machine. Satisfactory ka nun. Kaso dalawa yung demonstration sa COC2. Dapat makuha mo yun pareho. Anyway, ma'am, anytime convenient to you, palagi po akong available, basta may pambayad ka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, pwede yung mag-undergo ka ng review. Pwede yung pumunta ka dito para magkaroon ka ng something na observation kung paano mag-diagnose ng television. So, kahit saan ka pong assessment center, pare-pareho po ang methodology. So, kahit dito ka pumunta, ako ulit yung assessor mo, ganun rin ang i-re-reassess mo doon sa nabagsakan mong demonstration sa COC2. So, is that clear with the... Clear po yan, ma'am? May apila po? So, kung may apila, ngayon pa lang, pwede na tayo magsulat sa CAC manager. So, address the CAC manager and then the CAC manager will entertain that. Kasi kung bukas ka pa susulat, hindi na yan. Pang maalaala na yan. Yeah. So, I sign and then you sign. So, please wait for the CAC manager to distribute the cards kasi meron kang certificate of competency sa COC1 and then COC3. You can apply that in Robinson, just bring passport to special with and 50 pesos. Okay, so congratulations and thank you. Okay, so I will return the test package to the CAC manager for the CAC manager to, to make the ROAC. Sir, here is the result. The attendance sheet. Wala na kasi ang test direct. Umuwi na sa PO. And here are the 10 cars, the 10 rating sheet plus the assessor's guide na binigay ko na sa test direct kanina. Okay, so... Please distribute the cards. Distribute the cards. Okay, thank you, Ma'am Rose Mohan, our test our assistants. So, Mr. De, uh, Ms. De La Cruz.